So the awards came out this morning, and I think the best thing about awards like this or any sort of awards is at first glance, if you were to read about this 10 years later, it should give you a good idea about kind of the, the story of the year. What, what is your main takeaway from the winners and, and losers of, of these awards? Well, I mean, most of them, you know, I mean, there was, except for a most outstanding fighter, they were mostly, mostly pretty clear cut winners. So, um, you know, there's a, that, that was interesting. Um, and in the different, you know, ballots, you know, that, that different people counted almost all pretty much had the same people in the same spots or, or in the top spot, I should say, not in some of the other spots were, were a little bit different, but I mean, it was pretty, pretty uh, substantial, um, plurality, you know, in, in most of the things. And, uh, Will Ospreay had a great year. Um, it was interesting because, um, I didn't know who would win wrestler of the year because it's, you know, normally if you have a guy who was world champion and the company drew really big, um, and had good matches, they would, they would win. Um, and Roman Reigns had good matches, not all of them. I mean, I remember the one title defense wasn't particularly great, but, but he had some really strong matches as well. Champion all year. I mean, uh, didn't win. Um, and uh cody rhodes actually finished ahead of him and and i can understand why cody rhodes is more full-time reigns wasn't and um mjf you could say the same thing MJ, mjf had a lot of good matches on pay-per-view mm -hmm. and um champion pretty much all year and um at least on pay-per-view the company had a great year i mean house shows hit and miss um and you know but osprey just in his his quality of matches in the last year is just you know it was it was unbelievable you know and, and that was my takeaway which was this was the year of will osprey because if you look at the previous winners i think you had to go back to was it 2017 to see someone not from aew or uh you know who's from new japan and new japan's year was kind of a down year to me um as far as you know it wasn't ability it wasn't a great year. It was, um, I think they were up a little bit, um, in business. Um, but they weren't, I don't think that they were profitable for various reasons, but, um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't and, and, and won't be, uh, the new Japan of 2017, 2018. I mean, I don't think that it, I don't think it will be that for a long time to come. I mean, I mean, I don't say and never, but I mean, it's going to be a tough thing because I mean, you had a lot of things that blended together for that real glory run of new Japan, which was, you know, a lot stronger U S indie scene because the, um, you know, there was no strong number two. So there was a lot of, you know, super U S talent and the Japanese talent, you know, I mean, you had a lot of younger guys and things like that. And, um, just, you know, Tanahashi Okada, you know what I mean? That whole feud elevated both those guys so much. And then, you know, you had the AJ styles years and you had the Omega years as the top foreigner and, um, just a lot of things hit that would be very difficult because now the level of talent that they had, you know, most of them are going to end up as, as have with, with AEW, some with WWE. And so it's, it's hard for new Japan to compete on the world stage. Now. I mean, it's very, very hard. Um, pretty much impossible, I would say. So, um, yeah, I mean, he, and I mean, I guess he he pretty much won it for New Japan. But I mean, he just had the thing with him is he, he just had great matches everywhere. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen the match with Oku, have you? No. I mean, seriously, it's it's one of the best matches I've ever seen. I mean, just you almost have to see it. You almost have to say that whole card was fantastic because I watched uh, the rest of the card last night and and during the day yesterday. And I mean, Luke Jacobs and um, JJ Gale, aside from the one missed spot, they were outstanding and. Um, Zack Sabre Jr. and Connor Mills were great. And the crowd, I loved that crowd. I mean, it was like, you know, 1,780, I believe, paid, you know, in a, you know, so it's pretty much sold out, you know, in that, that size of a building. And they were just into so much on the show. I mean, not every match was fantastic, but it was, uh, there were so many great matches on that show. Mustafa Ali, um, he took this Bret Hart turnbuckle thing spot. It was really great and just looked very very good and and did a lot you know you know it's it's like you always look at when these guys leave wwe i mean you get the, the two styles you know what i mean you get the ones who 
just want to collect their money and and appearance fees and and do as little as possible and you have the ones that that are out there um you know just they they want to go all over the world and they just want to wrestle top guys and and ali's clearly in that category having gone all over the world and wanting to wrestle good guys and and robbie x is excellent so i mean yeah that was a good match too but um I don't know that we can see him. I mean, Oku Osprey was was um, I would say the same level as um, the second Omega Osprey, the Toronto match. I would say, you know, I mean, you could argue. I mean, each had its advantages over the other, but that was the level I would put it. And as you said, Cody Rhodes, MJF, Roman Reigns, Brian Danielson, Mystico, Seth Rollins, Kazuchika Okada. Uh, Kento Mihara, Mihara, uh, Tam Nakano, and then Moxley tied for 10th, uh, as I, is it, well, what's the furthest, I mean, when has Okada been out of the top 10 before or top five? I'm sorry. How, uh, I, I'd, I'd have to look, remember. I'd have to, I'd have to look it up, but he's, he's been, um, you know, I mean, you would think that he would be there most years since 2012. Um, somewhere, somewhere in the mix. I mean, not, e not every year, like number one or anything, but or, it was only number one, I think once, but, um, yeah, always a top guy. Um, and yeah, you know, um, Danielson pretty strong. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a strong top 10. I mean, like when we look at like, um, Miyahara, because he's in all Japan, you, you know, that he's not going to get the, um, kind of voting that, that, you know, he would get if he was in another company at the same level, but still, I don't know that that's necessarily a bad number. Um, you know, it was, uh, you know, I mean, Mystico obviously is the anchor for CMLL and they had a great, they, they had a great comeback year and Rollins, you know, strong, um, strong performance in the world title shot real, you know, Cody Rhodes finishing second in a year like this is, is pretty impressive. Um, as you know, he did have the, the WrestleMania main event and, um, and he did carry WWE, you know, at the arenas and things like that. So, um, I know that's, uh, it's pretty strong too. Yeah. All right. We have a MMA, um, MMA most valuable closest race, John Jones and Islam Makachev are your top two. And they were two points away from each other. Yeah. John Jones got six more first place boats, but. It looks like uh, Makachev was was on uh, ranked in the top three on more ballots. Yeah, 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 yeah. More second place votes. Um, the thing with John Jones is that um, you know he had one match. It was two minutes. It was the highest grossing. You know, I mean, the biggest drawing match as far as pay per view of the year. Uh, won the world title, so that was kind of monumental. But it was one one fight. Makachev had two, and they were both against Alexander Volkanovsky, um, who. You know, I mean, John Jones was against Cyril Gaon. And the thing is, is that I think most people would see Volkanovsky as a higher level opponent than than Cyril Gaon that, that Jones kind of just walked through, really. But, um, you know, I mean, Jones was the bigger star. I mean, for, for fighter of the year, I mean, M MVP has a lot to do with business. For fighter of the year, I don't think that John Jones would win, even though um, in his one fight, I mean, he walked through, you know, a guy to win the heavyweight title. In his first fight in several years, it, it was very, um, you know, it was, it, it's super impressive. He's the best fighter, um, you know, the the best fighter probably in in uh, MMA history, honestly. But and uh, and he's never won this award before. Uh, no, but again, because it's a business award, you always had Conor McGregor. Mm -hmm. And then the last couple of years, when you didn't have Conor McGregor, John John didn't fight. And before you know, before that, you know, you had George St Pierre, and you had people like that that were Ronda. Um, what Ronda? Ronda Rousey, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you know, like in the last couple of years, I mean, John Jones didn't really fight, but um, so it is. It is interesting. It's the first time he won, and he's probably um, if he fights this year, he'll he'll have a good shot at winning again, just because nobody else is gonna gonna draw at the level he he would. Um, it's too bad, I guess, in some ways, we didn't get the fight with him in Naganu because that actually would be like one of the 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 real big big you know really big fight I mean if John Jones fights now I mean it's going to be Stipe Miocic but I think everyone knows Stipe Miocic is is well past his prime mm -hmm. and um, Aspinall would be a good one I'd like to see him do that but I don't know that he will didn't I mean, John say that 
he just didn't have a big enough name or something? So he said it before, and then um, he said he hoped that the guy got a name because he's he wants to fight if it's worth it for him. He's got a lot of money, and he doesn't love. I mean, most people don't really love to fight, um, um, but he doesn't need to fight. And he's getting older, and he doesn't really want. I don't think he wants to get beat up. I'm not saying that Aspinall could beat him, but Aspinall would be a very interesting fight. And at some point, if John continues to fight, you know, age catches up with every single person. He would get beat at some, you know. And I think that he wants to get out before he meets that person. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.